Hey guys, JC Smith here. Today we gotta go rescue one of my trucks that broke down. Um, I got filters here, and let me tell you a little bit about what happened. Okay, so about two weeks ago, one of my trucks, I, I bought a bunch of van trailers and I needed trucks to shuttle them back and forth. So I bought a couple of these single axle Sterlings, real inexpensive truck, you know, and moving the stuff back and forth. Well, the fuel gauge showed it was, it had like quarter of a tank of fuel or half a tank or something like that. Well, it shut off right in the, uh, right in the driveway. As we got home, went to go move the truck again and it shut off, it was out of fuel. So I went and got fuel, filled up the tanks, and I forgot to get filters. And I knew it was a big mistake, but I needed to move it because I had more trailers coming. So I went ahead and got it started, and uh, you know, filled them up, whatever. Um, filled, got fuel in the filters, and uh, filled them up, got it started, and forgot about it. Um, you know, I've been using the truck a little bit here and there. Brandon goes to go get a trailer today, and it shuts off. So. Right as soon as he told me he was losing power and it stalled out and he was having trouble making any RPMs, I remembered that I forgot to change him filters. So I ran down to Napa, grabbed these filters, and we're going to head out and see if we can get it going again. So we'll bring you along. change that filter up but I didn't bring a filter wrench big enough so I took a ratchet strap pull it forward ratchet that brand okay let it loose just slide it back again that go ahead that thing was on there tight I couldn't budge it at all all right that's good enough we should go get it by hand now all right we got this one changed out we'll put the uh, diesel fuel in it put it back on now we're going to do this one in here there's another filter right there we're going to change that one well made it home no trouble ran really good drove good no issues whatsoever um, like I said, this was what I call self-induced misery. Um, I should have changed these filters that day. Uh, it ran out of fuel, but I didn't. So, cost me some grief. I'm going to top off the fuel again. These are 70-gallon tanks. But, uh, you know, the girl did okay. Give her a little fuel and she'll run. That's how it works. Usually what I'll do is I'll put some fuel in each tank because you never know. Like a lot of times on a used truck, you know, there's a crossover that goes from one tank to the other or it draws off both tanks. Well, sometimes they'll shut one off whether there's a problem with a tank or a leak or whatever the case is. So you could put all your fuel in one tank and you come back and then, you know, you uh, go back out to drive it and you run out of fuel because all of the fuel's in one tank. So. Um, I'm going to stop here in a minute and then we'll go to the other tank and we'll fill it up. I think we're getting close. I can almost see it down in there. I'm going to see the fluid level. And you can't see it. But we're about we're about three quarters right now. Somewhere around there. We're getting close. It wants to keep shutting off. So now we'll get some fuel on the other side and let's go get some more fuel for the auxiliary tank. And when I take my auxiliary tank here, it's got a little electric pump that I just run the cables to the, uh, the battery on the truck while it's running. And um, I, when I go get fuel, this time of year I'll put some power service uh, additive inside there so that uh, you know we don't get any water gelling up or anything like that. 
just to be safe because you just never know you know that, that fuel could be in there for a week a month two months you just never know in the winter and I try and keep all keep that thing as full as possible through the winter so we don't get any condensation inside the tank falling into the water water falling into the fuel is what I'm trying to say so uh, yeah we're gonna go to the other side now okay so here's the other side and we were about half a tank on this one so we'll uh, we'll run this till I'm just about empty in my auxiliary tank but um, yeah we're getting close I can hear my pump starting to spit and sputter so we're probably yeah that's the end of it okay let's go get some more fuel Alright, this tank holds 100 gallons, so I took one of my bottles of uh, power service uh, diesel fuel additive and put in it. And uh, today, diesel fuel is 3.15 a gallon. So this thing only had maybe, I'm guessing, about 10 gallons left in it, so it should take about 90 gallons to fill it. So we might be here for a few minutes. This treats up to 100 gallons. This is 32 ounces, and. There it is right there, 100 gallons, 32 ounces. Uh, this is gonna prevent uh, gel up and ice forming in my tank. So being that that tank sits around a good bit, um, I'll, uh, I'll put the full thing in there every time I get fuel. That way, no matter how long it's in there, it should be good. Like how long is usually only just a few weeks or so because I'm filling trucks up. Because it's a whole lot easier to fill a truck up from this tank than it is to bring them trucks in town and drive the distance it is to get good fuel. Because I don't buy fuel just at a gas station. I buy it at a truck stop. A truck stop that sells a lot of diesel. Now they may still have like a car diesel like this place, but they sell a lot of diesel fuel. So we have less chance of getting water and diesel. This is my third time running my credit card in this. So basically what is that, about 93 gallons? And I think we're just about full. Yep, we're full. We're, we're just just a little bit from the top and that's okay because I don't want it splashing around, splashing out. Okay, so we're in the truck. I've just finished off. Uh, topping off both tanks so it's 100 percent fuel uh full of fuel now what i want to do is start the truck up i'm gonna let it idle for a while and uh circulate that uh diesel uh, fuel treatment it, so it can get into the first filter the second filter the lines the injectors the return line so we can have a good protection all the way through because as you can see uh the temperature and the weather's changed and it is nothing but uh pretty cold out right now so uh, I think it's about I think I saw it was like 20 21 this morning with the wind chill I think was because it's really windy I think the wind chill was like 13 degrees right now so anyways let's start this thing up and uh, oops it's holding air pressure see here's the problem with this truck we thought it had a quarter of a tank and both tanks are full right now and it's only registering a quarter of a tank so that's why this truck ran out of fuel that's why this whole ordeal started now a lot of times in these older trucks what guys will do is they just carry a wooden stick that because the opening in the fuel tank is so big they'll just stick put the stick down in there and it'll have like sharpie marks as half quarter and whatever but uh because it's very common in these old trucks you know these things rattle pretty pretty good and this one's got 354,000 miles on it which really is nothing for a semi but you know it's still a lot of miles but uh, anyway so that this is a whole problem it, it only goes up to a quarter of a tank so we'd never know it was it was empty and that's how all this ordeal started plus the fact that I didn't I didn't uh, you know replace the filters when it did run out of fuel which I should have it you know lesson for you guys if you didn't know or you probably already know but just kind of maybe you forgot like I did but it cost me some time but anyways we're done with this I'm going to idle up come on now oops wrong button I'm looking through the camera there we go we can use a cruise control to idle this thing up and let it run for a while. Now this thing has a timer on it, an idle timer, and it'll shut off. I think it's after, uh, maybe it's five minutes or seven minutes or something, it shuts down. So uh, 
it's important that I idle it up a little bit instead of letting it idle real low. Uh, and then when it shuts off, that'll be okay. It's good enough. And I'm going to do the same thing with a couple other trucks. So I'm going to get going. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments down below. And we'll catch you on the next one.